What's up guys, I'm finally back on YouTube. It's been a little bit because I've been waiting for this new camera that I'm using right here to finally arrive. I sold my other one thinking this one was going to be uh, delivered faster. It's a long story and I'm not even gonna get into it in this video, but basically today I thought it'd be really fun to design four different t-shirt designs using one vector resource. Um, and I'm gonna link that in the description below. So if you guys are into this, hit that thumbs up button, make sure you are subscribed, and let's go ahead and get right into Photoshop and start designing. I found this really dope bear that I wanna use for this video, and if you guys wanna use this exact bear, again, I linked it in the description below, but just make sure you buy it to own rights to use it if you're actually printing it and reselling it. Just don't try to go resell it unless you own the license to do so. Um, I just wanted to get that out of the way to protect you guys, so anyway, we have this bear. I'm going to drag it into my new document here. And another thing that I just noticed is my document is CMYK. I want it to be RGB. A lot of you guys ask me, why do you design an RGB? Uh, there's a lot of different reasons why. I just prefer the color space more. And a lot of screen printers work in RGB these days. So it's really not that big of a deal. There's a lot of color conversions going on with screen printing. It gets complex, so I'm not going to go into it in this video. For the first design, I want to go with this like cyberpunk style that I had in my head. So um, we're going to do that real quick. So I want to duplicate this background. We're going to put it in this design one folder. And this is not a step by step tutorial, guys. This is just a design with me type video. Hope you guys are OK with that. But anyway, um, so we have the bear. That's cool. I want to go ahead and add a stroke to this just like so. Make it maybe white. Ooh, that looks really cool. I like that. We can do an outer stroke if you wanted to. I think I might do an outer stroke. So now the bear stands out a lot more and we're going to do some crazy shit to him right now. So just give me a second and then go to my blend mode and we're going to delete that black because I have a feeling I'm not going to want that in this design. I think I have a cyber style font. This one right here. What is this one called? Cyber Dine expanded italic. OK, this is actually going to work. I like this font a lot. We're making a cyber bear design, guys. This is pretty interesting, huh? All right. So we got the text laid in place and dun, 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 dun. maybe what I want to do is actually duplicate this add a stroke instead Add a white stroke, not too thick, though, very thin white stroke and maybe do something like that. That looks kind of dope. Move that down, give it a little bit of breathing room and then we can actually group all of the text together. I'll just name this text, maybe even do I want to add like a nah, nah, I don't know about all that. This comes down to his color because this is what's going to make the bear really pop. So we're going to go to like the cyan style color. We're going to do the same thing to these text layers now. I think what I want to do is actually take that stroke and do that red color with the stroke. I want it to be subtle, I think. I think subtle is better on this this one. Bear could be red or sorry, that cyan color. It's not even quite cyan. It's almost there, though. Whatever. You get the point. And then we'll make this one red. Kind of like that. I dig that a lot. I think it looks cool. And then um, what else do we want to do? Maybe we could take that bear and roughen him up a little bit because he's a little perfect. So I can name this layer bear or sorry, this group bear. If I can spell correctly. We're going to duplicate that, convert this one to a smart object rasterize it because we're going to chop it up a lot. I'm going to do something like this. We're just going to give it this chopped up look like it's glitching in the matrix or something. I think this will look really cool. Do some right here. See, I, I already like the way this is looking. I think this is looking really cool. All right. So maybe we have some that cross too. See, this looks super cool already. I don't want to go too crazy on that one. So we can keep that as is and we can group this glitched bear. So I'm going to group that name it glitched bear. And then we're going to do the same thing for the text. So I'm going to duplicate the text. Uh, merge that group together and we're going to do the same exact thing now. We're going to make it all glitch looking. Why not? We can even take a piece off the top here. Just like that. 
See? Just make it look like it's all messed up. Why not? Bam. And then below that, we're going to add some really small red text. Just to give it like a little bit of an accent, some random numbers. Or not, not, yeah, I mean, we could do random numbers. I don't know what I was saying right there. And then this needs to be left aligned, I think. And they could be kind of small, honestly. They don't need to be huge. And then we can kind of put them randomly. Do something like that. See, it just gives it something. And then uh, maybe we could put esports at the bottom. Why not? Maybe this can be an esports team or something. Ooh, see, this is looking fire already. I'm digging this. This looks super dope. We already did one design. It's crazy how fast that was, but that's one design out of the way. Let's go ahead and duplicate this now. And we'll do design number two now. Or we'll just number it two. So now we have number one and number two. And let's take that bear and drag that bad boy in there. And let's make this for like a lighter shirt, maybe like a gray shirt. So this will be for a gray shirt. And this one's just going to be black and white, I think. I want to keep this one super simple. Maybe like traditional high school varsity jacket stitch design. I don't even know how to explain it. But maybe we can just make it super traditional. So I already have an idea for that. Um, we can... I think I'm going to use an ellipse right away. Or you know what? No, I'm going to avoid using ellipses for this one. I'm just going to type in bear club. Varsity font. I think I have one. Yes, I do. And again, this is just going to, I think I'm just going to keep this one black and white. I don't want to complicate this one at all. So I want to make this black. And then that bear obviously has issues. Like he's not completely black. So I said he has issues. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it needs to be pitch black. And then something at the bottom. So. What are we going to put at the bottom? Bear club, maybe? This could be a front and back design, but I think I'm going to keep this one basic. Bear club, just like that. And then on the top here, we're going to add a warp, and I'm going to do a arc lower, because what I want to do is bring this up just like that. Just like that. And it, it could be extreme, you know? It, sometimes it's okay to like go crazy with something like this. Um, and we're going to do the same thing for this one. We're going to do an arc on the upper side, though, this time and just kind of look at it, you know, and see what would look good. I don't actually mind the bear overlapping things. I think it looks kind of cool when it's overlapping. So we're going to keep that. And then maybe we can uh, convert this to a smart object. Duplicate it and make the bottom layer a stroke. A white stroke, though. And then maybe on the font, we can add some sort of texture to make it really pop. So I'm going to add a white texture. Go to a soft brush, go on dissolve. This is going to give it a gritty look. And watch this, guys. This is going to be crazy. And we can just kind of paint. Look at this. And we're not done quite yet, obviously. And then let's add an inner stroke. And it needs to be black so it hides the edge here. Or it creates an edge, I should say. Just a typical, like, this is a normal trick that a lot of merch designers use. I think it needs like a laurel or something. So let's go ahead and make one real quick in Illustrator. The best way to do this is to use your, um, what is it called? Damn it, I forgot. The shape builder tool. And you can quickly make a laurel that way. So I'm gonna duplicate them and then do this. We need to center everything. Actually, is this centered to the artboard? No, it is not. I wanna center that to the artboard. We're gonna just make a really quick one. It doesn't have to be perfect. It really doesn't. Something like that. And these can just be black. We can add a warp to it, arc, and just arc this bad boy. Let's make it arced. Expand that. Send that back to its normal position. And yeah, it's a little warped looking, but I don't really care right now. Like, I just want to see if this concept even works, right? And it's on CMYK, of course, so we do need to fix that, but I could do that in a second. So, what I all I need to do really is just recolor this black. So we're going to do this. Recolor that and we can actually have it kind of coming from behind the text merge these together make sure they are centered and let's go and duplicate them once and add a stroke so this stands out and this needs to go above everything I just want to get rid of the bottom part on this one 
Just like that. There's no point for that to be there. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So we got the bear club. Um, I think this looks pretty cool as is. So we're gonna call this design number two. Let's move on to design number three now. We have two more left. All right, so the same thing, we're gonna drag that bear in place. And then we do wanna make those blacks more black. So I'm gonna go up to image, levels, make those blacks super dark. And this one, I think I wanna do some sort of text going around the bear. And we're gonna do, I think we're gonna add a 50 stroke to these and start right there and see what happens from there. And then let's go ahead and duplicate that once. And then on the bottom layer, let's go ahead and resize this. I was thinking about it right now and I think the strokes need to be a little thicker. So I'm gonna go up to 60, let's do 65 points on these because I just feel like they're not, or sorry, 65 pixels. I don't think they're thick enough. And I think the bear is a little big. So we're gonna actually make him a little smaller just so he has a little breathing room. So we have the inside of that circle cut out. So what I wanna do now is drag out a bunch of lines and we can make these any color right now. Sometimes it's okay to start with black and white designs because then you can just add color later on. And if you're working for a client, you could just ask them what colors they like. Some of them might say they just want black and white. You know, I have a lot of clients that just tell me, hey, I don't want color at all. And that's fine. Um, so anyway, I have these rectangles. I'm gonna merge these together and then duplicate them. I just need a bunch. That's literally all I need right now. So now we have something that looks like that, right? We have those red lines and I made them red because I think they're easier to see for you guys. And then from here, what I wanna do is go up to filter or sorry, um, what am I doing? Add a, like a wave warp maybe? Let's try a wave first. Yeah, I think a wave warp looks pretty cool. Yes, let's save that. And then we can change these to literally any color we want. So I'm gonna make those black. And as you can see, now we have this cool, you know, line thing going on in the background looks really nice and then from here what we could do is we could start adding our text so I'm gonna duplicate this one right here this ellipse that's in the inside and then I want to go to my T tool and we can start typing some text around this the big bad bear club and I think I am going to use that varsity font for this one as well because I really like it when you make the font a little bigger though you will have to adjust different things like kerning and baseline shift and all that stuff but I think this looks really really cool um, so we're going to keep that as is. All right, so I'm going to duplicate that text and put it at the bottom now. So we're going to have one at the bottom and one at the top. And then I want to use my character palette just to do the same thing, change the baseline shift. And these are all things that I go over in all my videos, by the way. Um, and then we could just put, I don't know, invite only. That sounds kind of official, right? And then from here, if we wanted to, we could put something on the bottom here. So maybe I can do like a little circle Something like this. I think this looks pretty cool. What I want to do is actually copy the entire canvas without the background, paste that in that uh, group three, and then add a layer mask. And we're just going to add some texture real quick just to see what it looks like. So that looks really cool. Okay, cool. So we have three designs already. Let's go ahead and move on to the last design. I'm going to create another group. So this is going to be design number four. And we're gonna get that bear again. Once again, we're gonna get that bear, make it a little bigger. This one, I'm honestly not even sure what I wanna do with it. So I'm gonna start off with a triangle shape to give it something, you know? I, I feel like we need to experiment here. So there's three sides to a triangle, uncheck star. Now we have a perfect triangle. And I'm gonna make this upside down. We're gonna do something random with it. This one's honestly probably not even gonna make sense, but you know what, I'm okay with that. And I actually think this uh, background could be dark. So I'm gonna add this to group number four, drag that to the bottom of everything, invert that. So we have something that looks like this. I don't know why my voice did that, something like that. Okay, cool. So I, I could do a few different things. I can duplicate this one more time and maybe even you know move this inside a little bit and add an inner stroke just to give this more dimension. So let's try that and see what happens. So let's add a stroke and this does want, we wanna make it on the inside. And do I want it to be that thick? I actually do. I think it looks nice. So we have something that looks like this. Let's go ahead and go to this, uh, what is this tool? The polygon tool, polygon tool, and then hit star and do this. So how many sides are to a star? One, two, three. So there's five sides to a star, I think. So now we have a star and we could drag the star anywhere we want. 
And it's probably important to make sure this star is straight and it's not like absolutely not. So let's go ahead and put more, one more right here. And then this bottom one can be a lot smaller. These top two stars, I do want to group them real quick just so I can do, oop, shit, that did not work out. And now what I could do is kind of figure out what I want to do for the top. So I think for the top, I want to add an ellipse and create the same width stroke maybe. We'll see in a second how this ends up playing out. I just wanted to create this nice look for the text and then we can actually, uh, we can actually rasterize these and merge them and just literally delete the bottom half just like that. So I will explore different fonts on this particular design because we use this one and the other ones and I don't want to be too repetitive. So change the spacing a little bit, letter spacing, kerning, whatever you want to call it. So now we have something that looks like this. I actually even think that the font could be a little bit bigger. It could probably even just be a hundred, hundred point font. And then again, change that baseline shift. This looks really cool, but I'm gonna try to add a quick lightning bolt or something right here. And not everything has to be perfect either. So I actually like it. It has character bolts. We're gonna name those bolts. I think this looks pretty cool. And then let's go ahead and add like a, uh, what was I gonna say? A gradient map or something to this and give it some color. I'm not gonna lie, that looks fire. Maybe have red instead. Ooh, I like that. Maybe red and orange. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh, red and yellow. Kind of fits the theme too. I actually like this a lot. So we're gonna we're gonna play with this a little bit more. And then similar to what we did to the other one, let's add some texture to it. And bam! So now I have four different designs. This is the first one. We got the second one, third one, and fourth one, all with this one vector asset that I downloaded online and linked below for you guys. Isn't that crazy what you can do with one thing? I hope you guys enjoyed those four design concepts that I did in Photoshop and using Illustrator a little bit. I'm happy to be back guys, I really am, and I cannot wait to make more videos this upcoming week. Keep creating, keep being awesome. My name is Charlie Pangus. I'll see you guys in the next one.